scores going on and what's like the best age to be on YouTube. So first of all, if you're trying to join a team, I'd probably say around maybe 19 because some teams don't take you unless you're over 15. So and then some teams won't take you like yeah, if you're over or you're under 15 or something like that. Because then you're old enough to like live stream on Twitch and stuff like that. So that's just one problem. Like some people will live stream when they're not technically allowed to because they're too young. And sometimes they think it's more professional if you have like older people in it. Like not kids. Which I don't really understand that too much. But I mean they may just have deeper voices or something. Or like being more mature but still. Some people that old are not mature. So then... The, like, I'd say the YouTube community is probably from like age 10 to age 20-ish. Like that's where most people are on uh, YouTube, I'd say. So, like if you're in that age, that's probably a good time to start YouTube or something like that. And then if you know any friends, like if you want to make friends in here, you have to be decently old. Like, for, like you don't want to be like 10 and be in the COG community and try and find friends. You want to be older than that to find friends in the COG community or something like that. So you want to just be older for most of the things, and sorry if I can't be that energetic because when I try to, it hurts my nose a lot because like I have stuff in my nose or something. So basically, the point I'm trying to say is like older the better. So like once you get older, your voice will get deeper and stuff like that. But in high school, it may be a bit worse to be older because you have more homework and not time possibly. But once you get older, you're able to do stuff like you can purchase your own stuff. For your stuff, like, like once you get older, you can purchase your own stuff, but like without having to ask your parents if you can do it or something. Like, I've, I've tried to buy stuff sometimes, but like for my channel, like maybe an intro or something, and my parents are like, no, you can't do that, even though I'm gonna use my own money and everything. So once you get older, you're able to do a lot more of that and growing like your channel. And that's gonna be a bit difficult if you're like a little ten-year-old squeaker or whatever. So just try to wait a bit. Maybe like make some more gameplays and stuff while you're that age and you have plenty of gameplays. I don't know. I don't know. Just maybe try and like get really good at the games. Like you could get really good at the games and then whenever you start your channel, you're really good at the game already. So then games like, so say that you're like 10, then you want to start a Call of Duty channel. I wouldn't really recommend that because uh, Call of Duty community is not going to let like somebody like that age really do much in that. So. I wouldn't really recommend doing that, but like maybe a game like Rocket League or something, you could start up a channel on that. I don't know. Next is streaming. Streaming, so you want to be over, I think you have to be over 13 to stream on Twitch, which I am 13, so that's pretty cool. So I can stream on Twitch now, and I think, like I said, some teams only take you over 14 or 15, which kind of sucks because I'm so close to that, so... I don't know, it's, it just depends on the team, like some teams don't have age uh, limits or age restrictions on that, which is nice, like I like that because they're willing to accept anybody, it just depends on how good your commentary is, like you could be 10 and ha have such good commentaries, and like you could be 17 and have the worst commentary ever, so I like those teams better that pick from this age group, but then I can see from the other side, the teams that don't pick you, it, like, unless you're, like, a certain age, so then the entire team's, like, all close to the same age, so they may share interests and stuff. I mean, that's the nice thing about meeting people online and stuff, because most people share the same interests as you. And, uh, people, some people are fake friends on the internet, like, they'll try and get something out of you or something like that. Or they'll just try and, like, degrade you and, like, say, you don't know how to do this. And you're not going to ever grow, or something like that. And just like try and shut you down. And another tip if you're like starting and you're like 10 or something, don't give up. Like, I know there's a lot of people I see on Twitter now that are like, should I quit or something like that? I'm like, why do this? Like, if you're going to, like, especially on Twitter, don't do polls that are actually like that big. Like, people aren't going to vote seriously. Like, people are probably just going to put yes or something like that. But seriously. Don't give up. I've been doing this for a while and I haven't given up. Like, I thought I thought about giving up one time, but I still haven't given up. If you need to, if you want to give up, just maybe, like, pre-record a bunch of videos and take a break for a bit, so then your channel's not missing out. Because if you take a break for a bit, you're going to lose a lot of your channel's, like, followers and stuff. Because 
and I'm gonna unsubscribe because I think they're inactive or something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did hit the like button down below and if you have any tips or constructive criticism or any or opinions uh, comment them down below and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.